How to use RAID Fly Ribbon Flies and other flying insects are a real nuisance when they keep buzzing around your home. Fortunately, you can control them with RAID Fly Ribbons. These are hanging traps with sticky paper that catch annoying flies. They're very easy to use. Simply pick an ideal location for the trap, pull the ribbon out of its tube, and hang it on the wall. Then, wait for the trap to start catching flies. Welcome to TheGuardiansChoice.com This video will tell you how to unrolling the ribbon and hanging the trap. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy! Method 1. Unrolling the ribbon. Number 1. Go to a spot where flies gather and the tube can hang freely. It's best to place the ribbon in a spot where the ribbon can hang freely, not against a wall. That way, you can catch flies from all directions. Door openings, awnings, sheds, and tree branches are all viable locations. Also find a surface that a thumbtack can penetrate, like wood or drywall. If you have to attach it to a harder surface, use duct tape instead. Remember to place the ribbon somewhere people won't knock into it. Number 2. Remove the thumbtack from the top of the tube. By the red ribbon on the top of the tube, look for a flat, silver thumbtack. Pull it out and put it aside for later. You'll need the thumbtack to hang the ribbon, so put it in a safe place. If you lose the thumbtack, you can also use a regular one in its place. However, try to find the original one or you risk stepping on it. Number 3. Hold the tube in one hand. Hold the tube in one hand on the opposite side from the red strap. This is the bottom portion that doesn't come out. Hold it firmly with one hand. Don't hold the tube too tightly. It's only cardboard, and too much pressure will crush it. Number 4. Grab the tube by the red strap and pull the ribbon out. The red strap attaches to the ribbon. Point the strap down and pull until the ribbon starts coming out. Continue pulling until the ribbon is fully extended. If the ribbon doesn't come out well, try pulling with a circular motion to help work it out. The ribbon is about 3 feet 0.91 m long, so you might have to readjust your grip to pull it all out. If the ribbon doesn't unroll well, it may be cold. Hold it between your hands for a minute to warm it up and make the ribbon come out easier. You can roll the tube around a bit, but don't press it hard or you might crush it. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Hanging the trap. Number 1. Hold the red loop up against the surface. Hold the red loop up against the surface of where you are hanging the trap. When you find a spot for the ribbon, hold it up against an attachment point. You'll need a surface that the thumbtack can penetrate, like wood or drywall. Make sure the red loop presses against the surface. Number 2. Push the thumbtack through the red loop into what you are hanging the trap from. Take the thumbtack you removed before. Push it through the red loop and into the hanging surface. Continue pressing until the tack is flat against the surface. If you're trying to hang the ribbon on a harder surface like brick or metal, you can also use duct tape to attach it instead of the thumb tack. Number 3. Move the ribbon to another location. Move the ribbon to another location if you don't catch flies in 2-3 days. Flies sometimes stay away from certain areas because of light or moisture. If you haven't caught any flies for a few days, remove the ribbon and move it to another location. See if you have better luck there. If the ribbon gets covered in insects or loses its stickiness, replace it with a new one. Tips 
1. Fly ribbons work for other fly insects as well, like mosquitoes. Hang them if you have problems with them as well. 2. If you get any of the adhesive from the ribbon on your hands, it comes off easily with soap and water. 3. Wrap the ribbon in cloth or newspapers when you dispose of it so it doesn't stick to other garbage. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.